Product developers need to get fast and accurate quotations when preparing a new project. To help you improve your inquiries, here are six tips to keep in mind when you're communicating your design intent with your manufacturing partner. Number one, carefully prepare your drawings. Every project should come with a complete set of 2D and 3D drawing files. They both show design intent, but a manufacturer uses them for slightly different reasons. First, 2D drawings show all the physical dimensions and tolerances of every feature of the part, from every angle. They're also used to note the surface finish, flatness, color, material, and other important information, which we'll discuss in more detail in just a moment. If you're not skilled with preparing engineering drawings, it's a good idea to hire a professional designer who can translate your requirements into a clean set of drawings using best geometrical dimensioning and tolerancing practices. Always indicate what GD&T revision you're working under because they're not all the same. 3D CAD files are used to program CNC machines. Even for projects that don't require CNC machining, 3D files show the total part volume and therefore the manufacturer uses them to calculate raw material consumption. 3D CAD files are also valuable when measuring the finished part. Again, if you're not already skilled in creating CAD files, it's best to contact a professional designer at this stage. They can also provide invaluable suggestions about how to optimize your drawings for better manufacturability. Number two, specify the quantity and batch size. Some production processes are better suited for different production volumes. Vacuum casting, for example, is ideal for a handful of prototypes, but totally inappropriate for thousands of pieces. As a general rule, when the part volume increases, the cost per piece goes down. But bear in mind that in order to achieve higher volumes, it may be necessary to make a larger initial investment in tooling. Another volume consideration is batch size. Let's say that you want to make a total of 10,000 plastic injection molded parts, but you want that volume spread out over four production runs. If so, it will be more expensive to make four batches rather than one. This is because the supplier has to set up the processing equipment four separate times, which is not efficient from a production point of view. Number three, specify the material. There are hundreds of metal alloys and plastic resins available to make rapid prototypes and production parts. Many are similar, but with slightly different properties. It's important you specify the exact material that you need. Your supplier can then give a quotation for the right material while also calculating the cost to process it. If you're not sure about your choices, talk to your supplier carefully about the product application so they can suggest your options. Number four, specify the color. Color is very important to a product's success, but articulating color can sometimes be arbitrary and confusing. The best way to communicate color is by specifying a Pantone or RAL number. If that's not possible, then provide a physical sample that can be used for color mixing and matching, keeping in mind that this approach can still lead to subjective interpretation. Number five, specify the surface finish and flatness. Every manufacturing process leaves a characteristic finish on the part, although it may not be the one you want. The good news is that most finishes can be achieved through secondary finishing processes if you know how to specify them. There are several commonly available comparators that are routinely used to communicate numerical surface texture values. We recommend you reference SPI or mold tech gauges for plastic parts and VDI gauges for metal parts. Surface flatness is usually given as an RA value and you can also use VDI gauges or flatness meters for this purpose. Number six. Explain the application. Although not strictly necessary for quoting, it's very helpful if you give your supplier as much information as possible about the final application of your part. They can suggest the best material and processes and offer insights into design improvements based on manufacturability. At Star Rapid, we believe that every quotation needs to be tailored to your exact requirements. That's one reason why we never use automated quoting systems. We prefer to listen closely so we can offer a solution that works best for you. This is the kind of service you can expect from Star Rapid when you upload your design files for a free quotation. If you found this useful, please ding the bell, like, and consider subscribing for more Engineering 101 tips and tricks. See you next time.